Person criticised for being involved in a police cover-up over the Hillsborough disaster has resigned from his post as Chief Constable of West Yorkshire. In a statement, he said he wasn't going because of allegations about the past, but because the controversy surrounding him had become a distraction. Well, earlier this week, the Merseyside MP Maria Eagle told the House of Commons she had evidence that while Sir Norman was a serving officer with South Yorkshire Police, he'd been ordered to concoct stories about Hillsborough which blamed Liverpool fans. It's an allegation he denies. Well, our political correspondent Claire Ashforth is at Westminster now. Claire, was today's announcement a surprise? Well, I think the timing of today's announcement is certainly very interesting. Sir Norman Bettison has been under pressure ever since the Hillsborough Independent Panel published their reports last month. But he had always maintained that he would carry on working as the Chief Constable of West Yorkshire Police Force, that he would retire next year. Today, however, just hours before his police force were due to meet to discuss his future, he changed his mind and resigned. Now, he says that we shouldn't read anything into this, but he's done so simply because he's become a distraction for the force. And certainly he has become a focal point for Hillsborough campaigners, as our Merseyside correspondent Andy Bonner reports. He's always protested his innocence. Um, have you considered resigning? No. And denied being part of a cover-up. I don't have anything to hide. Today, Sir Norman Besserson did resign from the police, saying staying put was no longer an option. At the offices of the Hillsborough Justice Campaign in Anfield, the news was met with mixed emotions. I think Mr Besserson should have been sacked as opposed to uh, being able to leave the force of his own volition. But that's going to make a lot of people very, very angry today, I think, myself included. It's pretty obvious he's jumped before he was pushed. And I think it's, again, typical of the man. He's probably doing it to protect his pension. Sir Norman Besserson had already agreed to retire next year, but members of the West Yorkshire Police Authority were to meet today to discuss calls for him to go earlier. In the end, he saved them the trouble. Today, the Chief Constable has submitted his resignation. And that has, I can confirm, that has been accepted. Last night we spoke to a retired civil servant who claims Sir Norman told him about a cover-up. John Barry's claims added to the pressure on him to depart. The accusations, which Sir Norman denies, were revealed in Parliament earlier this week. He said that, and I quote, we are trying to concoct a story that all the Liverpool fans were drunk and we were afraid that they were going to break down the gates, so we decided to open them. So if I was wanting to make things up to, I don't know, to... Um draw attention to myself, seek publicity. I'd have done it long before now. Um, and what possible motive would I have? Before returning to Yorkshire, Sir Norman Besserson headed up the Merseyside force for six years. Now, the local police authority told me today that had he retired as planned next March, his annual pension would have been worth £83,000. And as that money would come from local coffers, some people are treating it as a bitter pill to swallow. The people of Merseyside, unfortunately, are going to contribute to this. And let's hope that um, the politicians can find some way, if Mr Betterson is found guilty of anything, uh, that his pension can be attacked retrospectively. Norman Besserton's resignation means any internal conduct charges can't now be laid, but independent investigations into potential criminal offences and misconduct matters continue. Merseyside Police Authority will now look at the implications today's news may have on Sir Norman's pension. Andy Bonner, Granada reports, Liverpool. Well, I'm joined this evening by Maria Eagle MP. Maria, you have worked tirelessly for many years over exposing the truth behind Hillsborough. The police has always been one of your main focal points. Do you welcome today's announcement from Sir Norman Bettison? Well, I mean, I can understand why, it's, why he's done it. I think the most important thing is that the IPCC and the DPP can now get on with the backing of Parliament to conduct this biggest ever investigation into police wrongdoing and we'll have the resources and the powers to do it and do it well. One of the things that Andy Bonner was just mentioning there was this huge pension that Sir Norman Bettison is due to receive from Merseyside Police and we should point out he at this moment in time hasn't been found guilty of anything but can he really take that pension from Merseyside Police Force? Well, I know why people are, are, are upset about that and concerned about that, but he hasn't been found guilty of anything. The investigations that the IPCC and the DPP are carrying out 
will, I hope, be swiftly concluded and any charges that need to be laid will be laid. And it's after that that we should look at issues like pension. Are you hopeful that this will now result in prosecutions? I have always wanted those who ordered and orchestrated that campaign of vilification, the smears, the lies, um, to be held to account and to have to account for it. To the extent that that will now happen, I welcome that very much, and the sooner the better. All right, Egan, thank you very much for joining us this evening. It seems at the moment that there is hardly a day that goes by without more news on Hillsborough and that that is something that's set to continue. Claire, live at Westminster, thank you.